Hey, 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 I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Dan and welcome to the Mobile Artist Cafe. Do your digital photographs come across as mundane and ordinary? Well, in this episode, we'll take a look at an app that will take your photographs from ordinary to extraordinary. Let's get this party started. Grandpa, you took the words right out of my mouth. In this episode, we're going to be using the raw file format instead of using the JPEG format. Now, JPEGs are, are great, but when you're editing your digital photographs, if you have a raw file, those are much better to use because they contain a lot more light and detail information. With the raw format, the part of the image that's totally blown out and white, you can still actually go in, edit, and pull those details out. The app we're going to be using is called ACDC Pro. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull the images that I'm working on from within another app and then share it with the ACDC Pro app. The two raw file formats that we'll be using are CR2 and NEF. Now NEF, if you put it into your camera roll on your iPad, for some reason it won't be properly read by the application. So we're actually going to go from another application and send it over to ACDC Pro. All right, this is the documents app and I will put um, a link in the details for how to access this app. So we're gonna go here to this image here, number 60, and we're gonna say share. And then we're gonna scroll over until we get to the ACDC Pro app. And then we're gonna select copy to ACDC Pro. Now, if you notice along the bottom, it has a list of nine icons. We're going to go in adjustment. And we're going to use all these tools down here so that you have a good understanding of what each one does, how it does it. Now, this particular photograph, um, this one's actually underexposed and not overexposed. So what we're going to do first is the first one that says shadows, we're going to go in there and just pull that up almost halfway to pull out some of the shadows. Next, we'll go into highlight and I guess we'll take that down almost halfway to pull out some of the whites that are too white. Next, we're going to go into light EQ. This adjusts the blacks and then several grays and then whites. So we still have some areas that are a little bit too dark. So what we're going to do is go in there and try to pull those out. And the whites we're actually going to take down a bit or the brights, the bright, brighter um, parts of the image. We're actually going to take those down a bit so they won't be blown out. Next, we're going to do exposure. Now, since it was a little underexposed, we're going to take that image and we're going to bring up the exposure a bit. Now, dehaze, what dehaze does, it actually takes that grayish look out of your digital photographs and pumps a little bit more color and detail into it. So we're going to start moving the dehaze up a bit. Fill light lights the whole image in light areas and dark areas. So if we pull that all the way up, you're going to see it's going to start to get blown out, especially up here again. So let's see, we'll pull that up to about 21%. Next, we're going to go to contrast. Usually you don't have to use contrast too much, but it does help bring some of the detail back into the image. So we're going to pull that up to maybe about 23%. This is another tone, just like the grays and blacks that we were doing earlier that help push back or pull out some of the areas. All right, so I'm going to take down some of my brighter areas and also on each of these dials, if you move the dial and it isn't where you want it to be, all you have to do is double click on it or double tap, excuse me, to get it set back to zero. All right, the white balance, we're not going to mess with because the shot was taken outside. So the white balance is pretty good as it is. But basically what the white balance will let you do is you can use it as shot 
for sunlight, cloudy, shadowed, incandescent light, and fluorescent light. But it basically adjusts the color temperature. But like I said, this was shot outside, so I'm just gonna double tap that and leave it as it was as shot. All right, next we're gonna move up to saturation. We're gonna pull up those colors just a little bit. Vibrance, you don't wanna pull up too much. Color EQ takes the different colors that you have and if they're, um, okay, for this first one, which is saturation, if the colors are too saturated, like let's say we wanna deal with our reds. There's a nice red here. If that red was too saturated, then we would just take this down and it would kind of mute that red a bit, but I'm gonna leave it as it was. I do think we need to try to pump up those blues just a little bit for the sky. Split toning, we're not really gonna go into. Sharpness is, as it says, it sharpens your image. Clarity, because sometimes when you sharpen it, it doesn't look quite as focused as it should. So clarity helps bring in some of that focus. Now, what we can do is click on these double picture icons right here, and it'll go back and forth between the original that's what we started off with. And this is where we are now, which looks a lot better. The image we were looking at before was underexposed, had too many dark areas, and we had to pull things out. The image we're gonna work on now was actually overexposed, and a lot of the lighter areas are totally blown out and totally white light. I'm going to click on edit and go to adjustments again. I don't think we really need to brighten the shadows because like I said, this, this is already overexposed. So we're gonna go to highlights and we're gonna start bringing that down. If you notice, we're starting to get detail in the ground as well as the roof there. Now, if I go back here and click on this double image right here and hold it down, then you can see the original is, is totally blown out. There is no detail in the ground. There is no detail on the roof, but just those couple of adjustments, we've already brought back a lot of detail. All right, we're gonna go to light EQ, and we're gonna turn down still some of the lighter areas. And maybe turn up just a bit on the darker areas. We already know the image was overexposed. So with this exposure control, we're gonna slide that down to bring the exposure down. It would be the equivalent of not letting as much light into your camera. Now watch what happens. So I've recaptured a lot of the detail that was lost. I don't wanna take it all the way down because then it starts to look muted and gray. I'm gonna take it probably maybe right about there. And the reason I say that is I can actually see some of the clouds coming through in the background now. All right, so we're gonna to go to dehaze, bring that up. And I know that the image is looking darker, but we're gonna use this fill light to pull things back up. On our contrast, we're gonna push that up just a little bit so that our darks get a little darker. And on the tone now, we can push up some of these darks so that it doesn't look so washed out. Since this is an outdoor shot, we don't really have to worry about adjusting the white balance. So we're gonna move on to saturation and we'll pump that up a little bit, but not too much. Vibrance also maybe about 10%. The colors are pretty balanced as they are. I don't want to go in and take out too much, but I do notice that on this guy's shirt right here, maybe if we take down some of that lighter blue, yeah, doesn't look so bad now. All right, now we, we have a much better image than what we started out with. Now I'm gonna go over here to this double image icon and hold it down 
so you can see what we started with and where we are now. So we're gonna jump to sharpness, pull that up to about almost 30%, jump to clarity, pull that maybe up to 36. And softness is used when you have too much pixelation starting to show through and you can either soften the contrast or soften the lightness of it. I'm just gonna take both of those up just a little bit. Denoise also works on when you start to get a little bit of um, noise in your image, which basically looks like um, static like you would have on a TV. So we'll just pull both of these up just a little bit. All right, still this is much better than where we were before, but our colors look just a little bit off. So I'm gonna pull my darks up a bit. Pull the highlights up a little bit. Light EQ. Yeah, I think we're gonna take that down instead of up. Maybe the same thing for the tone. Oh yeah, that's much better. Cause it was looking a little washed out in this brown area. So we'll take the tone on the blacks down a little bit. All right, I think we're gonna stop there because I don't wanna overwork the image to where it looks like it was enhanced. These are the different effects that you can get using ACDC Pro. It really helps very quickly to go in and pretty much salvage. It can take images that are not the best that they could be and make them a lot better. So basically you can take your images from ordinary to extraordinary. That's all for this episode, my friend. We'll see you next time. And as always from myself and the gang at the cafe, thank you for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check back each week to stay up to date with our latest information. And don't forget to leave any comments or questions in the details below. And you have a fantastic day.